Hello, today I'm going to show you the updates that were made to the Spring 2012 release of the IBM Connections app for the iPad. So first, when I launch the app, notice that I can quickly connect to the greenhouse or I can configure my company server. We actually support multiple accounts, so I'm going to go ahead and enter my credentials for the greenhouse. I click on login. And now I'm immediately logged in. Notice that one of the new features that we added is that we can now quickly show the end user a quick tour of how to use the IBM Connections mobile app for the iPad. So very straightforward, very easy to use. Now once you go through this, you click on start using connections and the first thing that you see is the status updates view from my colleagues. Of course I can pick and choose if I want to see all public status updates, only for those people in my network, only for those people that I'm following, etc. So very straightforward. Now, one of the new features, like I mentioned before, is the ability to go into the settings and actually configure multiple accounts. And to do that, I go and tap on the big plus icon. I can add my company server. I will specify the account nickname, the server URL, username and password, and off I go. So very straightforward, and again, very easy. Now, one of the new things that we've added as well is that as we go into profiles here, and notice now that on the right-hand side, we can quickly jump into a specific uh, names by first name. So for example, if I type in B, I see all the users that start with the letter B. If I go into the letter S, I see everyone that starts with the letter S. So now I have a dynamic address book that's always being updated from the cloud. Very, very powerful. So for example, if I wanted to reach out to Rosie, all I do is click out on her profile. I can follow her from here. I can find, learn more about her and I can even share this. Now, this is important because we've added a couple of new things here. First, notice that we can save to contact. So if I wanted to save uh, Rosie's information to my address book, I could do that very quickly. And I can also share contact. And I have two options. I could do it by mail or I could do it by SMS. So if I choose mail, a V card is created and now her contact information can easily be shared with somebody else. Again, very straightforward. Now, as I go to profiles, notice too that there's a couple of new views here. So I can choose to see people in my network, people that I'm following. I can go into my profile and quickly see uh, who's in my profile and reach out to them. So again, I have quick access to all of them. And all I have to do is simply click, click on a profile to access their contact information. So very powerful. Another thing that we added is the ability to search. As you are in the go, it's very, very critical that you have a quick way to access intellectual capital. So for example, I can come in here, tap on search, tap in a few letters, and notice that simply by typing letters, the search is being done on the back end. So in this case, I search for social, and I see a bunch of assets uh, being returned. I see files, I see wikis being returned, uh, social media guidelines, etc. Now, I can also filter the search results. So if I only want people that are experts in social, I can do that by simply selecting the profiles filter. And now I see Ron Denham, uh, Marcelo, Stewart, etc. So again, very, very easy. Now, let's say that I'm traveling to Europe and I want to be able to contact one of my colleagues. So I'm going to search here, Stuart McRae, and I find him. And now I can simply tap on his phone number to call him. I could, uh, again, share the contact with somebody else. I could save it into my address book. Now all, all his information has been added into the address book. And now I have all his information quickly added into my, uh, into my profile. So very straightforward. Even though this is not a new feature, I want to show you that you can go into your profile, actually tap on edit to update your photo. And because I have a new iPad with a camera, I can take a photo right now and there's my photo. I can quickly move and resize this with my fingers, very uh, easy. Tap on use. The photo is now uploaded to the server and it's updated automatically. So again, very straightforward and very easy to use. Now, notice another new thing that we've added. There's a big plus button on the bottom hand side and from here you can quickly update your status. You can upload a photo or create a blog post. So for example, let's say that I just came out of a meeting and you have one of the new iOS devices that support dictation. You could do something like uh, tap on the dictation button 
I just came out of a meeting, period. I'm very excited, exclamation mark. Let's get it done. And that's it. So you can actually dictate status updates or dictate blog postings into IBM Connections through the iOS capability. I just edit this, I tap on post, and now it's been posted. So now I've quickly updated my status. So that's easily done by simply tapping again on that big plus button. Now, notice on the menu here on the left hand side, this menu is fully extensible now. So administrators can add additional links here. So for example, on their wikis, we could add a new link to show perhaps social media guidelines, or it could be a link into the uh, internet portal. And when you tap on that link, the content is actually rendered on the right hand side, which is very nice. Now I've shown you a quick way to access your network information, quickly update status, search for information, which is very critical. But now let me show you a couple of things around uh, files. We've updated the files interface. It's now native. And notice that when I go into files, I see all of my files. Of course, we have many filters here, so I can see updates. I can see the pinned files that I have. I can see files that have been shared with me. I can see my folders, etc. So if I go into updates, I can see from the files that I'm following, what has been updated recently. It looks like, for example, the IBM Connections Overview file that I uploaded recently has received a lot of feedback. So you can see quickly that it has one like, it has eight comments, and all the comments render automatically. If I go into the info tab, I can see who this file has been shared with, how many downloads it has. I can even see who has downloaded that file. Now, of course, now if I tap on the file, I have two options. I can download this file or I can open it. When I download the file, the file is stored encrypted in my device for security purposes. So that if your device is stolen, we can issue a remote wipe command from the server and remove all the files from your device. If I click open, the file is going to be downloaded into my device automatically. And once the file has been downloaded, I can simply open that in my favorite viewer, which in this case would be Symfony Viewer. Now, aside from downloading and, and storing the file locally, I also have several other options. So for example, if I tap more here, I can delete this file directly from my iPad. I can add it to a folder. I can pin it, recommend this, edit the properties, etc. I can also choose to share this with other people. And one of the new things that we've added in this release is the ability to share with communities. So I can pick and choose a community that I want to share this with. And I'm going to simply type in a few characters. And back comes my favorite community, which is the IBM Connections users community. I add them into the reader list. I tap on share and off I go. Very straightforward and very easy. Now, if I go here into the menu and choose, for example, one of the files share with me, I can see a couple of things. And of course, if I open this image, the same thing will happen. I have the ability to open this. I can actually save this into my photos in my iOS device, or I can just download it so I can use it later. The download feature is very useful because if I'm going into a customer meeting, I could actually store this directly into my device. And that way, if I don't have 3G access or Wi-Fi access at the customer site, I could still use the file from the IBM Connections app. And that actually drives me to show you uh, one new feature that we've added. So if we go back here into my account, I tap into downloads, I can now see all the files that have been downloaded into the device. So again, very straightforward and very easy to use. Now let me go back into my files and finally take another file. I'm going to go here, tap on download, have the file downloaded into my device and that's it. Now I have it ready on my device and ready for use even when I'm offline. That's it. I hope you liked it. And if you want to download it, just go into the iTunes App Store and search for IPM Connections, and it's a free app download.